The new Samsung Galaxy S22 Trio handsets are among the first major devices that has been released in 2022 and will likely be popular handsets among hobbyist smartphone snappers thanks to the improved lens system. They've also all got a powerful processor and buttery smooth display for admiring all your photos and videos. Now, Samsung may tweak the design of its Ultra smartphone next year with the Galaxy S23 Ultra. So, we can now start looking forward to Galaxy S23 Ultra rumors. We kid, but leakers like Ice Universe are forcing us to, as, after tipping some new 200 megapixel Galaxy S23 Ultra camera potential, they are now pontificating over a new display and design. According to Ice Universe, Samsung Display could mass produce quad curved displays, which are yet to take off properly. The switch to quad curved displays would give the Galaxy S23 Ultra a different look compared to the Galaxy S22 Ultra, which relies on a dual curved solution. The leaker speculates that Samsung could introduce quad curved displays to the Galaxy S23 series, the likes of which Huawei pioneered with the P40 Pro and P40 Pro Plus. Supposedly, Samsung Display Solutions can mass-produce such displays, Samsung's LFD business. Ice Universe has not explained why they prefer quad-curved displays over dual-curved ones though, nor what benefits they bring. Since we've already had phones like the Honor Magic and its tri-curved screen, or the quad-curved Xiaomi concept you see here, there is little doubt that if a company with the engineering abilities of Samsung Display puts their mind to it, they will succeed in creating a phone panel that slopes on all sides. Now, what would a quad-curved display bring to the table except enhanced aesthetics, is beyond us at this point in the rumor mill, but it could hint at a drastic Galaxy S23 redesign. This jibes with the expectations that the S23 series, or at least its Ultra member, could sport an under-display selfie camera and a truly all-screen design. While the recently released Galaxy S22 Ultra is the cream of the current Samsung crop, it won't be too long before we're itching for a new flagship, and barring any major surprises, one is likely to arrive in early 2023 in the form of the Galaxy S23 family. That may seem like light years away, but the S23 rumor mill is already starting to grind into action, with long-standing Twitter mobile leaker Ice Universe imagining what the Galaxy S23 would look like with under-display camera technology. The tipster makes clear that these are unofficial Galaxy S23 photos, They've been mocked up by designing a custom wallpaper that obscures the S22's front hole punch camera cut out to give the illusion of a new device and design. As far as Photoshop sleights of hand go, it's a pretty clever trick. It's safe to say that a flagship Galaxy S series device with a true edge-to-edge -edge display looks stunning, and that the death of the hole punch wouldn't be mourned by many. That said, under-display camera tech still has to come of age before being deployed in a device as important to Samsung as the Galaxy S23 will be next year. As we noted in our Galaxy Z Fold 3 review in 2021, IUDC doesn't come close to shooting the same quality images as a normal front selfie can, so there's work to be done before such a feature can go mainstream. Fortunately, the current S22 lineup is going to keep us happy for a while. The previously mentioned Galaxy S22 Ultra is a dead cert to make it into the next revision of our best smartphones guide, while even the more run-of-the-mill Galaxy S22 Plus is an impressive device on nearly all fronts. Still, if Samsung wants to further its reputation as the Apple of the Android world, it will need something jazzy sooner rather than later, as rival devices like the Pixel 6 Pro offer just as much hole punch for your pound these days. Although the Samsung Galaxy S23 series is still likely 9 months away from being launched, we've already heard a very early report which suggests there might be trouble brewing in paradise. A Korean site called Business Post has written a report detailing delays in the mass production of Samsung's 3 nanometers chipset, which suggests the company is struggling to make enough of this new, super small chip. The reason for the delays, and issues with creating enough chips, hasn't been made clear. However, lots of regions in Asia are still suffering from COVID-19 lockdowns, which could have an impact. Samsung makes Exynos chipsets, which it uses in some of its own phones and also sells to other brands like Vivo. For the Galaxy S22 series, phones sold in Europe or Asia got Exynos chips while those for buyers in the US got ones made by Qualcomm. Business Post doesn't mention the Galaxy S23 series by name, but does suggest that 2023 is the year when we'll likely see Apple use 3 nanometers chipsets for iPhones too. However, the Galaxy S23 phones will likely launch about 9 months before the iPhones, giving Apple enough time to build up a supply of components. 
If Samsung is struggling to make enough of its next Exynos chipset, it could lead to the Galaxy S23 series being hard to buy in certain regions, including Europe. We saw this for lots of tech during the silicon shortage in 2020 and 2021, when people were waiting for ages to buy new iPads or smartphones. That's not to say this is set in stone, though, as Samsung might attempt to find an alternative measure to ensure there are enough Galaxy S23 units on store shelves. An obvious choice is to change the chipset divide for the phones, something fans have been asking for, as Exynos processors generally aren't as powerful as the Qualcomm-built Snapdragon ones used in the US. Perhaps Samsung could use Snapdragon chips in more of its next S-series phones, or at least employ some of the manufacturers making them to create more Exynos chips. It's also worth pointing out that we can't be sure that this upcoming 3 nanometers chipset is destined for the Galaxy S23 series at all. Samsung may be keeping it for the Galaxy S24 series in 2024. The next Samsung flagship series is the Galaxy S23, is expected to arrive later this year with a whole set of new features, including a brand new design, upgraded processors, new camera systems, and probably some fresh new colors. The Galaxy S23 phones will be released on February 24, 2023 if Samsung's previous launches are any indication. Samsung pulled the S21 and S22 release schedule forward so that they launch shortly before the Mobile World Congress which starts on a Monday in late February. The MWC Expo is scheduled for Monday February 27, 2023 to Thursday March 2, 2023, so the Galaxy S23 series should launch the Friday before it, on February 24, 2023. If Samsung keeps the Galaxy S23 announcement schedule intact, the Galaxy S23, S23 Plus, and S23 Ultra event and pre-orders start would fall on February 8, 2024. The Galaxy S23 Ultra is expected to sport the same $1,199 starting price as its predecessor unless the supply chain challenges persist into its mass production schedule, or Samsung decides that a new quad curve design and a 200-megapixel camera sensor warrant a higher S23 price. For the S22 Ultra it tucked the S Pen in and kept the battery size huge, but still charged the same, so we keep our hopes high about a $799 Galaxy S23 starting price, $999 tag for the Galaxy S23 Plus, and the sweet $1199 Galaxy S23 Ultra price spot.